Hello and welcome to end to end solution architect session. Today I will be talking about HashiCorp Packer. Basically how we can create AWS machine image. It is going to be very quick session. So let's jump into the hands on part. Now I am logged into my AWS management console and before I run the script or show you the script how uh, you can run the packet script uh, let me tell you that the purpose of using HashiCorp packer is to create machine images so if you are already using Terraform you know that there are AWS resources available where you can create AWS machine images from Terraform but what I suggest that if you are going to create machine image, then try to use HashiCorp Packer because this HashiCorp Packer has been dedicatedly created for creating machine image. Well, now I am not going to the installation of HashiCorp Packer. I hope you have HashiCorp Packer already installed in your system. If not, then you can visit packer.io you will get all the installation instructions for your windows or linux or mac os now as you see this code snippet first thing is that file name when you are using packer the file name is your name.pkr.hcl and this is the file you will write your script this is the script which i have written it follows HCL. Now, if you want to write the same thing in JSON format, you can do. So it is the file name dot JSON. I will show you the both and how to run both the files. Well, so there are few sections in this script. First one is the packer. When you are running packer for the first time, then you need to install the plugins for the required cloud providers so in this session i am going to create machine image of an amazon instance well that's the reason i have mentioned amazon source and the version in required plugins secondly you have the source and you have to mention this source amazon ebs and give a name in this case i am going to create an ubuntu image that's why i given the name ubuntu now you give the name a my name as whatever you want instance type you specify this as per your requirement region you mention where this image is going to be located source ami and ssh username now let me tell you that you may be wondering that when you are creating an image of an instance then where are you providing this instance type and region and even the source ami so how packer works is that it will take your source ami and will automatically launch an instance first then it will create an image of that instance keeping your source ami as the base and you will get the final image when I will execute that it will be more clear now the last part is build where you give a build name and mention the source means you can have multiple sources over here maybe not so this source is actually this is the source which we have defined so our source is Amazon hyphen EBS and we have given the name Ubuntu and it says sources so you can have multiple source over here and when you are building you give the name of the sources so in our case we have only one source so it is source dot amazon evs and this ubuntu is basically the name of this ubuntu which is coming from here now let's give a try and let me show you let me go to the amazon portal over here as i see that i have zero instance running that is fine now let me go back let me take you to the AMI images you see that we have this under images you have AMIs click on that because ultimately when we create our images it will be available here only so we don't have any 
images as well okay let's go back from here now let's run our code well now as you see that i am inside a directory called packer you can give any name to it and i have two files dot json and dot pkr dot hcl now to initialize packer the command is packer init and give a dot you may be wondering that which file it should consider so once you are giving dot by default it will look for dot pkr dot hcl and it will consider that so give an enter it has initialized now now to execute this packer file basically to build we have the command packer build so it is packer build dot again it will consider the pkr dot hcl you can mention the particular file name and i will show you give enter it has started building you see and when it is saying that waiting for instance this is the instant id to become ready let me take you to this instance place where you will see that there is one ec2 instance is being provisioned so it is not yet running so let me clean this filter and let's see you see that's one instance state is pending and this is the 5aa0 well and you see that the same it is waiting for instance to become ready now using ssh communicator to connect this instance waiting for ssh to become available if you remember that we provided under source that what is the ssh username by default the username for ubuntu instance is ubuntu so we have already provided that at through this username it is trying to connect to that and connect it to ssh now stopping the source instance so let's go again and you see that and you see that it is running and let me refresh it because it will terminate of its own and it is stopping so now it is stopping waiting for the instance to stop let me take you to the ami part as well what is happening is there any ami being created at this moment so i clicked on ami and it's loading but you see that our instance is terminating it is stopping now it will gradually terminate and if i see the console it is still waiting for the instance to stop okay now creating ami etsa aws ubuntu the name we given okay waiting for the ami to become ready let's go to our ami you see that it has started creating status is pending and now it is done so it is saying that this ami has been created and this is the ami id let's go to ami page once again and we see that our ami is created and status is available now we have seen that how we can run packer to create amazon ami well let me show you one more step as well that when you want to delete the ami what are the steps so it is not only that you click on it and you click on re deregister so you click the ami which you want to delete basically go to action click on deregister ami but before i do this deregister let me cancel this and let me show you the snapshot so you go under elastic block store and you will find snapshot click on snapshot and you see that a snapshot has been created once you have created the machine image so our step is we have to deregister the ami first and then delete this snapshot so let me go to ami once more well this is the ami we created click on action click on deregister ami click deregister ami and it says that successfully deregistered now let me take you to the snapshot here is our snapshot select our snapshot click action and we have delete well but as per your requirement maybe you do not need to click on delete and that's it now let me take you to 
our packer code once again. Now, so far we have used this .pkr.hcl file. Well, now I will be taking you through this .json file and it is going to do the same. Okay, we have this builders and the provisioners. This is the new thing, provisioners. I will show that how to run this and what is the purpose for this. The provisioners are like when you are creating the image and if you want to run some script, you want to install few utilities in your image and basically create a package, then you have to add this provisioner. And that's why I have one .sh file created for it. Let me open this .sh file. I have named it as provision.sh and just added this sudo apt get update, nothing else. Well, so I am going back to the JSON. So what I want that when I will be creating this image, I want to update my image. Means this image will be created from an instance. You have seen that it first creates an instance and then creates the image from that instance. So once we will be creating that instance, I want that instance to be updated and then we create the image. That's the very small purpose of it. But if you want to add anything else, means you want to add some, install some tool, like you want to install Docker, you want to install, suppose Jmeter or anything, Apache, whatever you want. So you can do those things over here in this shell script. Now let me go to JSON file and this time, we have this type mentioned already, Amazon EBS, region we have mentioned, source AMI we have given. So I have copied it from the image directory. So you click on launch instance, click launch instance, you select your instance type and click on browse more AMI. Here we are going to use Ubuntu. So I can search for Ubuntu and we have listed images of Ubuntu. So let's select this Ubuntu server 22.04 LTS. Now we have our instance type mentioned SSH username which is Ubuntu, AMI name ETS AMI, adding the timestamps with the AMI name and we have our provisioners. So let's build this image now. So packer build and you have to mention the name of the file. It is dot slash aws hyphen ami dot json file. So packer will build this file on. Click enter. It has started building. Waiting for the instance to become ready. Same way it is creating an instance and it will update that based on the shell script which we have provided and then it will create the email. Now it is showing waiting for AMI to become ready. Let's go to our AMI page and you see that this is being created, the status is pending. It will take a minute and it will be available. Now meanwhile, let me take you to the end-to-end -end solution architecture Git repository. So you can visit to into E2E solution architect slash script. Inside that you will get a directory called Packer. And in Packer, you will get all the code which I have used in this session. The first one is AMI version one packer.hcl. The second one is the JSON I have used. So if you see, you will get all the script. So you can use it, modify it, as per your requirement, it will be a quick handy resource for Well, one more thing I can show you that if, we, if you are interested on Terraform, then we have a complete Terraform infrastructure automation series is going on and you can visit our end-to-end -end solution architect session YouTube channel. And here you will find all the Terraform advanced series, which you can actually implement in your organization. It is not for the 
beginners of Terraform. If you have already worked on Terraform and currently working in your organization, then it will be very helpful for you. Well, so let me go to our console once again and let's see that how far it has completed. So, well, it has created the AMI like before. And if we check for the final time that our AMI image is available now, give a refresh and it is status. Well, so, so far we have seen that how we can use Packer to create our Amazon mission images. If you have any queries, please write in the comment box or reach us to e2esolutionarchitect.com. I'll be happy to help you. And before I close this session, let me tell you, in our next session, we are going to talk about creating pipeline to trigger Terraform. Basically, we will create a business case where we need to automate build server. So we will first create a pipeline. Through that pipeline, I will show you how you can trigger your Terraform project, which is basically creating the build server and ultimately your build server will be created. So don't miss that session. See you in our next session. Thank you for your time.